Here's the starting lineup for the visiting Miami Heat. At power forward, Caleb Martin. At point guard, Kyle Lowry. At the other guard, Tyler Hero. At center, Bam Adebayo. At the other forward position, Jimmy Mutler. The head coach of the visiting team is Eric Spolstra. Jefferson. Joining us courtside is Allie LaForce. Allie, it's all yours. Well, guys, in today's NBA, superstars often change teams. Commissioner Silver said, quote, used to be when someone said, Larry, you'd say Boston. Magic, you'd say L.A. Jordan, Chicago. But that was a different time. Now some worried about the change, but with trades bringing publicity, he said, I think we've all changed our view. Brian? Thanks, Allie. All right, now let's check out the starters for the Miami Heat. Lowry and Hero are the backcourt. Butler out there with Caleb Martin. And it's Adebayo in at the five, roaming the paint. And for the Celtics, Horford and Williams together in the front court. Brown and Tatum are the explosive wing pair. And it's Smart in at the point. And you have to think that one advantage this Celtics team has is a deep roster. Lots of quality guys they can assemble different ways. They're pretty adaptable. It'll be the Celtics off the tip. Here's Tatum. Horford, a screen on Butler. Tatum finds Brown. And here's Tatum. Pass to Horford. Butler with a steal. Here's Adebayo. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Just an enforcer for this team. Adebayo is no stranger to physical play, whether he's receiving it or dishing it out. Two shots. Good out of bio. You know, a versatile bench really is a gift for the Celtics in tough situations. And even a great starting five isn't perfect against every opponent. It's important to have flexibility, and that's something that Boston definitely has. Oh, 
And both free throws good for Adebayo. It's always nice to see a big fella be able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay from the line. Smart passes to Horford. And here's Brown. He's guarded by Hero. Smart outside. Horford for three. Count it. One for one to start the game. Nice to have a big man you can count on and hit that shot. Makes the offense much more diverse. Adebayo is screen on Brown. Here's Hero. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. And that'll be Miami's ball as it goes out of bounds. Heat able to keep the possession. And about a minute gone in the first quarter. Blocked again! And he gets it back. Martin. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Horford. Miami ball. And it's out of bounds to the Heat as Miami retains possession. It yeah, just couldn't make the connection. But you appreciate their attempt at moving the ball. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. And stolen by Brown. Pass to Tatum. Back to Brown. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Impressive ball handling from Tatum. Attracts the other team's focus and then finds the open man. For Miami, they've gone 0 for 3 from the floor to begin this one. Jason Tatum still so young. His game still evolving. Over the last couple years, he's been getting to the line more and more. And that's you. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Now here's Butler. Shoots over Tatum. Just such a menace. Tatum can really stretch the floor for them defensively. And again, the heat missing. And Jason Tatum seeing his free throw attempts increase. What's that tell you, Richard? Well, it just tells me that he's playing with more intensity, but he's also playing smarter. Jason's using his athleticism to force the issue. Get to the easy points at the line. That's what you thought to him. Just a textbook oh, lead oh, pass right there, putting it right where it needed to be. It's Miami's ball, trailing by five. It's Martin on the wing. Inside, it's tipped and stolen by Williams. Pass to Brown, fires the three. Adebayo grabs the board. Lowry against Smart. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. Here's Butler. Six to shoot. Shoots over Tatum. Knocked away. And he recovers it. Adebayo sets a screen. Butler finds Adebayo. To stop the run. Rebounded by the Celtics. They timed up the layup perfectly. The D saw it develop and got there to bother the shot. Smart passes to Tatum. Here's Horford. Kick out to Brown. 4-3. Another miss by Brown. The defense just giving him the easy look there. He's not going to miss that. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Robert Williams picks up one. You have to love the style Bam brings with him to the floor. He's such a spirited player, and you can see his teammates enjoy it as well. He misses the free throw. Now, guys, when you think about this Miami Heat team, you hear a lot of talk about their ability to score. But how about the way they play on both ends of the floor? 
Brogdon's checked in for Boston. White comes in for Smart. So Miami going with an almost entire new group here. Kevin Love's checked in for Martin. Robinson comes in for Butler. Victor Oladipo's checked in for Hero. And Vincent is subbed in for Lowry. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. Defensively, this Heat team was top three in points allowed per game and top five in defensive efficiency last year. You know, B.A., that's something that surely isn't talked about enough. And when they're not having their best shooting night, they'll suffocate you on the defensive end. Here's Vincent. Outside Robinson. And he's going for the oop here. Warford with a steal. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. 1.56 left to play in the first. Outside, Brown. To the inside, Williams. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And RJ, you look at the road the Celtics had to the finals last year. Man, that's as tough as it gets. B.A., when I tell you, going through Durant and then Giannis, and then you saw the way that the Heat pushed them, and then you see the Warriors in the finals as a reward, that is as tough of a road as you will ever find. And I don't see anything phasing this team now, B.A. The free throw drops for Williams. And some changes here for the Celtics. Gallinari, he's checked in for Horford. And it's Hauser in for Jalen Brown. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Miami trailing. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. And Coach called his timeout to try and reset things on offense. Shake them up a bit so they can hopefully start getting some shots to fall. Minute 42 left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Vincent. Pass to Robinson. Back to Vincent. Four on the clock. Love the screen on white. For three, Ola Depot. That one doesn't drop. And Boston going the other way now. Gallinari, the pass to white. Back to Gallinari. To the reverse layup and drops it in. Oh, just an easy reverse for him. He has nice feel and touch around the bucket. Pass to Adebayo. And here's Oladipo. Love passes to Adebayo. Here's Vincent. Adebayo sets a screen. 
Floats one. Out to Oladipo. A shot to stop the drone. And there's the call. It's on Bam Adebayo. That's his first foul of the game. First team foul. Struz, he's checked in for Miami. For Boston, they've gone four of nine in this one so far. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. You know you're doing something right when you find yourself up double digits in the first period. They were ready to roll right through the tip. There was no warm-up period. There was only, let's do this. And so here is Miami following the bucket by the Celtics. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. For three, Oladipo. The rebound, Celtics. Gallinari, the pass to Brogdon. Williams, a screen on Struess. Brogdon from outside. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. Celtics out the front. They lead by 11. And back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Celtics. Well, we talk about the critical importance of the wing position, RJ. From the time you played, how do you think that position has evolved? Well, when you talk about positionless basketball, it really falls on the forwards. You want them to have more responsibilities. You want them to be able to guard one through five. You want to be able to run your offense through them. So the wings in positionless basketball have a lot more responsibility. Tatum and Horford at the forward slots. Smart and Brown, a great defensive backcourt. And it's Williams in at the five. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Celtics. Now here's Smart. They lead by 11, largest margin of the game. And Williams punches it home. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a 10-point pass. Struess against Brown. Pass to Lowry. Puts up a three. Tatum pulls it in. The Celtics shooting around 50% of the game so far. Here's Horford, and there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And it seems wherever Horford has gone during his career, his teammates really enjoy playing with him. A testament to his leadership. At the line for two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. You can tell Horford's teammates look up to him. He's an accomplished veteran with a lot of experience and knowledge, Richard. Yeah, he's just so selfless. The kind of guy who actively tries to make his teammates better. Just a terrific glue guy. Hero, he's checked in for Struess. That one's no good. If you want to talk about a high-value veteran, Al Horford is your guy. I mean, he's been around the block and has a ton of wisdom to share with younger guys. Now here's Hero. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. A shot from the mid-range. Can't get it to drop. Brown with some nice D. To the paint. Here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Second quarter here, just over a minute and a half played. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Thank you very much, Brian. Well, Jalen Brown has been vocal when it comes to social justice. He said, quote, people need to step up and use their platform. Keep conversations alive and show people that you care. Where your influence is biggest, try to leverage it. Brian, he knows his stuff. Stand up. Allie, thanks. And the shot goes in. And the Celtics lead by 18. 
And Tatum's teammates love the hustle. They appreciate him going hard on the offensive glass and really getting it done. Again, the Heat misses. The Celtics have gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Down low. And Horford powers it home. Seeing that play develop ahead of time. Hits his man in stride. Here's Butler. Here in quarter two, we played a little over two and a half minutes now. Martin with the ball. Now guarded by Brown. Here's Hero. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's on Al Horford. Shooting for Miami. Tyler Hero at the line for two. First one at the line is good. Pritchard's checked in for Tatum. And so Hero nails both of them. The Celtics have gone four for six here on the second. Brown passes to Smart. Now Horford, he's guarded by Martin. Kick out to Brown. And it's off from three-point range. Man, that's his shot. <laughs> Maybe he was too wide open. Hero outside. Out to the right wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Butler with a steal. Williams against Lowry. Pass to Love. Misses off the left iron. Couldn't quite line that one up. Just got to shake it off and move on to the next one. A nice shot by Brown. Bustling that one in. JB is a strong individual. Miami's gone 0 for 4 from beyond the arc here in the second quarter. Timeout call, the Heat, and the three-point shot. So important, Richard. That's something you added after you came into the league. What was that process like? Well, look, as the game tilted that direction, it, it was no secret. You have to put in that time. But what I try and tell people is that it took me three years before I was able to even become a consistent three-point shooter and another five before I became a good one. So as long as you're putting in the work, you're going to see the results. Those who evolve are those who stay around. Gallinari comes in for Horford, and it's White in for Smart. A big group substitution here for Miami. Adebayo's checked in for Love. Robinson comes in for Martin. Victor Oladipo's checked in for Hero. And Vincent is subbed in for Lowry. Oladipo outside.
Back to Vincent, the 11-footer, and they pick up two. Vincent's got his first points of the game. Drawing so much attention, Oladipo rotates the ball to the open man. A minute 53 left to play in the half. Pass to Williams. Outside, Brown. Three-pointer off the mark. Miami has gone 0 for 4 from beyond the arc here in the second quarter. Well, you have to be impressed with the constant growth we're seeing from Jalen Brown. He's put in a lot of work to become an all-star player. Count it for Vincent. Mm -hmm. A tremendous facilitator out of the wing. Butler finding the uncovered man. There's a minute 12 left in the second quarter. Williams a screen on Butler. Here's Gallinari. Here's Williams. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. And at this point for Brown, do you think he's realized his full potential, Richard? No, I don't even think so. Especially when you look at his work ethic. He puts in so much time that I think he can reach another level. He's still young and eager to learn. If I were to put it in 2K terms, I think he could get up to about a 94-95 overall. First one falls for him. And the Celtics making a change here. Brogdon's checked in. And Williams drops them both. A minute four left in the first half of basketball. Oladipo against Brogdon. Oladipo outside to the middle and Adebayo slams it in what a confident dunk by Adebayo he knows there's little the defense can do once he's elevated outside Brown 35 seconds left in the half Williams a screen on Butler shot clock at 6 Brown can't hit I thought he had that all sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. Williams against Butler. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Williams. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated. Able to shut it down with the forward. Just four seconds left in the first half. Oh, there's the shot clock violation. So they'll turn it over. Boston ball. the Boston Celtics with an impressive 16-point lead heading into the break. How about the way they've attacked the paint? This throwback approach is paying off. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks so much, Al, as you anchor that front court. What were you guys looking to accomplish in the first half? I mean, we're, you know, we're just trying to play with pace, you know, trying to dominate on the defensive end, get rebounds, uh, make it tough. Pace is key. Back to you. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be back right after the break for the third quarter here on 2K Sports.
about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Boy, you got to like what Robert Williams has done in this game. Yeah, he's showing off how skilled he is at attacking the defense and converting at the line. He knows that that's a strength for him. If they're going to keep fouling, he has no problem taking that. Setting the floor for the Heat. On the wing, it'll be Hero and Butler. Bam Adebayo is out there with Caleb Martin. And it's Lowry in at the point. Now here's Brown. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Well, guys, the Celtics are handing the keys to the two Jays, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. There have been growing pains and even some question if the pair could coexist. But Brown said, quote, the adversity will help us grow. As long as I'm on the same page with him and he's on the same page with me, we're all good. Brian? Figuring it out, Allie. Thank you. Shooting for Miami, Tyler Hero, shooting one. Find the lane, find the lane, one shot. falls for Hero. They put together a solid lead. And it doesn't seem like they're going to back off. Here's Smart. Rebound by the Heat. Butler's got four rebounds now. Well, the great ones make their mark in the playoffs. And Jimmy Butler has certainly done that. Some Herculean performances when the chips were down. Now here's Martin. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And a bio, no good. And for Boston, they're shooting the ball at around 42% for the game. Outside, Brown. Horford, a screen on Butler. Here's Tatum. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. And granted, last year's playoffs, Jimmy Butler became the first player since Jordan to author multiple 40-point, four-steal games in a single series. Oh. And in 2020, the third player ever to record a 40-point triple-double in the finals. I mean, just legendary stuff. Williams has checked in for Boston. Jason Tatum at the line with one shot. And that one falls for Tatum. And guys, talk about silencing the critics. Tatum made first team All-NBA last year and led the Celtics to their first finals appearance in over a decade. Now here's Butler. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. You know, probably the biggest shift for Tatum is advancement at the defensive end, Greg. Oh, no question, B.A. And that's imperative at the small forward position. Think about it. You have guys like LeBron, Kawhi, KD. Now Jason Tatum is in that elite two-way group as well. And you have to put Jimmy Butler in there as well. He's off on the first. The gritty, hard-working mentality of Butler is contagious. He just elevates his teammates to work on becoming better, too. He sinks the second. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. Tatum drives in. Oh, it's stolen by Butler. Pass to Hero. Let's go with a three. The rebound by Jason Tatum. Tatum's got five rebounds in the game. Here's the second effort, and the layup is up and in. Tatum's got seven points. This is how confident Tatum is. Knows he can score inside whenever he wants. 
Lowry finds Hero. Now here's Adebayo. Williams defending. Adebayo passes to Hero. Clock at six. Butler on the wing. Over Tatum. Miami, no good that time either. The Celtics have gone two of five in this third quarter. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. From down in the low post, it goes. He's got nine. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Now here's Hero. He's got five. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Tatum. Pass to Brown. It's smart on the wing. Now here's Tatum. And here's Brown for three. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got his third assist of the night. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. Man, guys, to go on a big run, get some breathing space. It has to be a great play on each end. And the Heat call time here. Man, please be the big round of the ball. For your Celtic youth and team. with almost an entire new group here. Gallinari, he's checked in for Horford. Hauser comes in for Jason Tatum. Brogdon's checked in for Jalen Brown. And it's White in for Smart. Right wing. Love inside. Working on Williams. Oh, that's good. You can tell his hustle inspires the entire squad. He really gets everyone so amped up. To the paint. Here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. Since halftime, they have been efficient and effective, making Coach very happy. Well, I credit some of that to their communication out on the floor. They are attacking as a unit. And for people who didn't know about Derek White before last year's playoffs, they sure know about him now. He played big on the biggest Ooh. stage. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. Yeah, you like the pick to set up the open shot. But when it leads to a dunk, okay, even better. He'll take it. Here's White. After the basket by Miami. Williams, a screen on Lowry. White for three. That shot, no good. And Miami will go the other way with it. It's amazing how much energy White brings to the floor, Grant. You know, B.A., he has a passion for the game. He's tough, and he's very intelligent. He makes great decisions. He has all the tangibles you're looking for. The shot's good. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Celtics. Lowry, the pass to Martin. And here's Lowry. Back to Love. Martin outside. On the wing, Struess. Misses the three. Austin on offense. They're on a 14-5 run. 
32 seconds left in the third quarter. Gallinari with a screen on Robinson. Hauser. Basket's good. Sam. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. That's a great possession. Put your best players in a position to succeed. Here's Lowry. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Just five on the clock. Here's Love. No good with a layup. At the end of the third quarter, a huge lead. This one may have already been decided. Celtics out in front, running away with this one. After a quick break, we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter. to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. That's an unguardable pass. Flat out, give him credit for possessing that type of vision. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. Brown and Tatum are the explosive wing pair. Horford and Williams together in the front court. And it's Smart in at the one. That's the Boston Five. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. Brown now an elite scorer in this league. Really does it all. At the line for your Celtics, Jalen Brown. At the line for two shots. First free throw is good. Some changes for Boston. Griffin, he's checked in for Williams. Muscala comes in for Horford. And Pritchard is subbed in for Smart. So Miami going with an almost entire new group here. Yurt Sevens checked in for Bam Adebayo. Zeller comes in for Butler. Victor Oladipo is checked in for Hero. And Vincent is subbed in for Lowry. And both free throws good for Brown. And the Heat with possession. Pass to Zeller. Outside Struess. Oladipo outside. Fires in the triple. Oladipo. Oladipo's gotten himself on the board with a three there. This is why you always have to chase guys off the arc because everyone has a three-point shot now. It's Brown on the wing. He's guarded by Oladipo. Six on the shot clock. Oladipo with the rebound. And here's Miami. Outside Struess. Three-pointer, no good. One side is dominated tonight. Yeah, they've done a fantastic job of imposing their pace and style of play. Brown against Oladipo. Back to Pritchard. Here's the three. Rebound by the Heat. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Here's Vincent. Screen by Zeller. The rebound by Muscala. Oh, man, that's tough. That's definitely one he'd like back. Almost too wide open. Outside, Brown. And the three off target. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. Pass to Oladipo. Yurt seven, a screen on Brown. Oladipo, the pass to Yurt seven. And a strong finish with two hands. This is how you force a defense to collapse. Kick the ball right inside. For Boston, they've gone 0 for 3 in this fourth. Not good. And the Celtics call time here.
Guess what? This was his game all night. I mean, he tore through the defense and almost never took a bad shot out there. Really, a level of offensive consistency most players can only dream of. Well, they are playoff bound with him rounding into form and playing some of his best basketball. They've just got to continue to play together, and we'll see if he's able to keep playing at this level. from deep in this quarter. Oladipo, the pass to Struess. Oladipo, outside. Love, the screen on Brown. For three, Oladipo. Rebound, Boston. Tatum's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Pass to Pritchard. Fourth quarter keeps moving along. Three minutes gone by now. Oh, Tatum slams it home. <laughs> Just a merciless, I don't even know what that word means, dunk by Tatum. Reminding the defense, like, yo, you cannot stop him. The Heat have gone 2 of 5 from the field in this final quarter. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Brown against Oladipo. Five to shoot. Love, a screen on Brown. Takes the three. And there's the call on Al Horford. That'll be a second foul of the game. Malcolm Brogdon's checked in for Boston. Substitution on the court. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. Hero against Brown. Butler passes to Hero. Six to shoot. Again, the Heat misses. Coaches loathe empty possessions. You got to be able to hit the easy ones. Adebayo against Tatum. Two minutes remaining in the game. It's Brown on the wing. Horford outside. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. Here's Williams. Doesn't go for him. The Heat go the other way with it. Outside Butler. Kicks it to Hero. Let's a three fly. The shot. No good. Boston's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Celtics. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for Robert Williams. And there is no question his defense set the tone for his team and gave them the rim protection they needed. Outstanding effort. Lowry finds Hero. Here's Butler. Shoots over Tatum. And that one's long. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. Now here's Tatum. Outside, Brown. Williams, a screen on Hero. It's good from the top of the key. And guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and seal the game. Saving their best basketball for the end. Always smart. Adebayo, a screen on Tatum. Hero for three. Kept alive. Adebayo. 
banked it in off the glass. Man, From Adebayo. role player to all-star, Adebayo has made the leap. Why? Effort plays like that. Now Brogdon. So it's Boston easily grabbing this one. Boy, they were something special to watch tonight. And the crowd loving every second of it. It's always a great feeling when you play this well for your fans. This team really showed what it's capable of. And that'll do it, folks. This is Brian Anderson saying thank you for tuning in. So long, everybody.